Hey guys, what's going on? King Pyro 44 here and we have some Lucio changes with a brand new Overwatch PTR patch. This is patch 1.10. So, before we get into the Lucio changes, I'm going to talk about what they've changed besides that because Lucio is actually pretty big and they did a lot to him. To start off, if you go to the hero gallery and go to one of the heroes, you'll notice this little text box right here. So now each of the heroes and some of their skins in the hero gallery have some history and information about them. So if you see, we go to, um, let me see, see if we can find one. Okay, so this Junker skin for D.Va has a little uh, backstory to it. It's just mech battles are one of the most popular forms of entertainment in Junkertown. So this D.Va is from Junkertown. And if we go back to, um, like, let's say we go to Sombra, you'll see that it says, uh, she's one of the world's most notorious hackers. Sombra uses information to manipulate those in powers. So that's a nice little, like, history change that they put in. But other than that, the only other thing that I have seen that they've changed is ties on assault maps are now broken based on how much of a point the team captured. So what I'm guessing this means is if you're on an assault map like Volskaya and you're on the second point and you're attacking and you only get to one or two knocks on the entire point capture uh, icon. If you have two there and your opponent only gets one, then it's not a tie anymore. You guys win that. So that's going to eliminate a lot of ties on assault maps like Volskaya, Hanamura, and um, I think that's pretty much it. Volskaya, Hanamura. There's another assault map. I just can't remember it. Um, but other than that, let's get into the training area and let's get on Lucio and let's talk about his changes. Hey guys, we're back in the training area with Lucio and I'm going to talk about his buffs and nerfs really quickly, but I'm going to leave them in the description below so you guys can go and check them out as we go through them. For the first thing, it's Lucio's main primary weapon, his sonic amplifier. The speed on his projectiles have been increased from 40 to 50. So they just, you know, they move a little bit faster. It's going to be a little bit easier to hit your enemies with all three of your projectiles. And that's one of the ways Lucio does a lot of damage. So I like that a lot. Next, his alternate fire now considers vertical orientation when knocking targets back. So this is good for uh, heroes like Genji or Faro or anything that comes from above you. If you see here, we'll be under this drone and if i if i boost he'll be pushed up so if you're running up to someone let's say with like speed boost and you go like that you can boop them up into the sky and over stuff so that's really nice too it's going to be easier for lucio to actually push people off the map and reposition enemies so i like that a lot next is lucio's crossfade ability it's his shift which is his passive the area of effect radius has been decreased from 30 meters to 10 meters. A temporary, a temporary in-game visual has been added to illustrate this radius. It's only visible to Lucio and players on his team. So you can see the radius right here. That's just to show you where his, uh, where his AOE actually comes into play. So if you are on Lucio's team, you need to be inside this circle for you to get the buffs that he gives, whether it be speed boost or healing boost. Next, his healing per second has been increased by 50%. So that's healing he puts out without the heal boost. But this also applies to Lucio's amp it up. So you'll see right now we're going to take some damage. We'll be in speed so we can get close to, you know, we'll drop health. Okay, you can see we were at low, like 48 health, and he regains his health really, really fast. If he boosts, he regains his health extremely quickly, and that's not just for him. He's going to be giving that buff to anyone inside his smaller AoE effect of his um, crossfade. And the next thing that was changed is his sound barrier, his ultimate. The radius has been decreased from 30 meters to 20 meters. So you'll see if we're right here. Let me see. I think that's about that's about 30 meters. So that friendly bot shouldn't get it. Oh, let's break it. You see how he didn't get the the buff from my ultimate? 
so that's been decreased again from 30 meters to 20 meters it's gonna make uh playing with lucio a little bit harder but much more rewarding when the team is designed to stay together lucio's next ability that was changed a little bit is his wall ride which is you know his passive ability to just ride on walls by pressing spacebar or whatever you have it um hooked up to so basically his movement speed has been increased by 30 percent when wall riding and he now receives a burst of speed when leaping off of a wall so you'll see here you'll gain a little bit of speed when you're coming off the wall so it's not gonna be too easy to hit you once you jump off and if we use speed boost, you'll kind of see how quick we can move around the walls. So he's going to be a lot harder to hit while he's wall riding, just simply because he's moving 30% faster. I like this change. I feel like it's good for him. He was a must pick before and he still might be, but um, the comp that you're going to play in is going to be a lot more close together more bundled up as a team you guys are gonna have to play like death ball comp and stuff like that because 10 meters is not a lot of range i will not recommend playing lucio with a team that you know is comprised of Farah and genji for their damage and diva for like a tank because they're gonna be away from your healing all of the time that's going to be it for the changes to the PTR so far. I'm going to be playing Lucio on our Twitch channel. I'm going to be live streaming it so we can see how he does against Orisa and how the changes actually affect him. I'll leave my Twitch in the description below. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the changes to Lucio. Do you think they were fair? Do you think it's too much and he's OP now? Or do you think they kind of nerfed him a little bit too much with his area of effect abilities? Of course, if you haven't yet, like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm King Pyro 44 and I'm out of here. Peace.